Hi right, crew, welcome back to Air Power. We did get the Terminator out today and uh, we did get out on the range and shoot her. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to you guys and gals by the way. There's not much, too much talk in this video. Like I said, it is Mother's Day. I didn't realize that until earlier before we got ready to go shoot this video. And uh, my wife had already had plans to go visit her mother for Mother's Day. So we did that and while we were there, apparently that is the range I shoot on for long distance and for higher powered air guns because I do not have that ability here at my home. Um, so I took the equipment obviously and we did shoot a short video with the uh, Nick Nielsen 54.5 grain slugs. Now the scope was not zeroed in, it hadn't been uh, adjusted, it just been put on this rifle and kind of fooled with a little bit. These are the Nielsen slugs that you'll see me shooting in the video at 30 yards. Uh, the accuracy is okay. It'll take down a medium sized game at 30 yards without an issue, you, you should be able to get on on target once you fool with your scope and get it set right I actually didn't have time to get the scope perfect today I'll work on that later I doubt that I'll shoot a video trying to zero the scope in because for me that's kind of boring I don't know if you guys want to see that kind of stuff and I really wouldn't be doing much communicating with the camera at all trying to focus my main energy on main focus on uh, Send a scope on where I'm shooting and having to walk back and forth unless I can get like some binoculars to try to see where I'm shooting. Anyway, um, we're uh, going to go ahead and cut to the video. Let you guys watch what happened with the uh, NSA slugs through the Terminator day. And I'll edit in some foot pounds with the velocities hopefully. And uh, the gun is down to 150 bar. So I'm going to attempt to see how to feel for me since I've been having trouble filling it with my Yong Hen compressor. I don't know if I want to film that or not. I already kind of got a video trying to do it before. Just think I have to get a scoop tank and uh, well let's get to the video. Alright hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully this camera does not die. Not going to be much talking in this video. 54.5 grain NSA slugs. The scope is not adjusted at 30 yards here. We're going to see what we can do. I will call out feet per second. Assuming the video does not die. Alright. First shot. Assuming we do not hit the chronograph. We are not zeroed and the scope has not been set. I think we are way left. 921 feet per second. I'm going to aim to the right, see if I'm correct on the. We're shooting left. Nine hundred and thirty one feet per second. I'm gonna find out where we're shooting at. Okay, we're shooting way high at thirty uh yards here. That last shot was nine hundred and thirty one feet per second. We're gonna go down. I like that. However many clicks that was, I have no idea. Alright, shot number three. We 
we're still way high 929 feet per second uh might not get enough adjustment out of this remember we are at 30 yards 929 feet per second on shot number three Nine hundred and thirty-three feet per second. We are still way high. I'm just gonna use windage. Nine hundred and thirty feet per second. I'm gonna hold that same spot and see what it groups like right there. Now 139 feet per second. Now 142. Now 141. Felt a puff of air and a sting on my arm. Now 146. Now 43. Now 40. I might have one more shot in here. No. That was all 11 rounds. I have one more mag left. We are at 200 bar fill now. One more mag at a 54.5 grain NSA slug from Nick Nielsen. I'm going to switch over to that uh, right side target. See if I can bring this down a few more clicks. We'll see where that hits and then we'll just keep the same aim point and group it out from there. I will still give you velocities on the second mag here. Now 137 feet per second. Now 28. Now 21. So we're coming down now. Now 113. Now 05. That four or five shots because I do want to scoop this uh, scope over to the right. I do kind of want to get this on par with the target. Maybe we should try that. And we're just gonna leave it right there. I am using the uh, very last mark on the top of the crosshairs to hold uh, under at 30 yards here because I guess the scope's not canted forward enough for that the uh, height of this braille. 
Okay. The rest of the shots are going to be with that adjustment. Nine hundred and four. I don't know where that shot went. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. And that was not anything else in there. All right. So that is two mags, eleven. I think these are eleven shot mags. Twenty-two rounds. Our lowest reading was eight sixty-one. We are at a hundred and fifty bar, and uh, that is all I'm going to do today. It's hot. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of Mother's Day. With my mother-in-law, see how my mother is no longer with me. And, uh, okay, you guys have a great uh, Mother's Day. I'll get back out and uh, try to zero this back in as dead on as I can get it. I'm going down here and look at the group. See what the groups look like from both rounds. All right, let's go look. All right, guys, so my first two shots for trying to zero this in were way up here. These uh, boards are pretty thick and we did pass through on every single shot. This is where I started grouping at once I uh, set the scope and held the same spot with the top part of my crosshair. And we are at 30 yards. The second mag, this looked like it was grouping pretty good. I can't tell which shots, maybe these two were uh, after I adjusted. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. So no, those were the first ones. And then we started coming down off of the bell curb. And you see one, two, three, four, five shots all right here. Size of my finger there. It's an okay group for 30 yards. It will hit the uh, kill zone. So we'll stretch it out 50, maybe 100 later on down the road. You guys have a great Mother's Day. Air power's out.